Oh, he teleports. Oh my god, okay. It's all good. Run it back. This thing looks disgusting, bro. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another Calamity Summoner episode. Uh, let me just move out of the way here. It's a little NSFW, but I'll move out of the way. But yeah, we are back, and as you can see, I installed the Calamity Texture Pack. Oh, it's the pig. Somebody told me to kill this pig. Now, I was going to record this episode a lot earlier but the day i recorded it i was gonna do some off-camera stuff aka find the battery the uh, drone battery and i started working on that and then i got a blood moon so i did the blood moon and then after the blood moon i got the goblin invasion so that was a good like 30 40 minutes since i have sort of weaker stuff so it was a little bit harder to do and after those 40 minutes of me playing i'm like bro i don't feel like playing anymore <laughs> just kind of killed my vibe of that uh, recording that episode that day but yeah people told me to kill piggy uh i kind of can't just because he summons oh wait there you go perfect that's what we needed now if i put another summon will it attack you too absolutely not but uh piggy here has 2000 health but it drops a bunch of gold so we gotta kill it and boom bada bing piggy is dead thank you for the 11 gold and somebody told me the bacon sells for some good money two silver somebody lied to me all right I did get a trough from that blood moon. Shout out that blood blood moon. I also did get something else. What was it? Oh, the shark tooth necklace. I don't think there's any summoner stuff from the blood moon. Uh, thank God. Oh, I got this bat hook from uh, Halloween bags. I don't know when Halloween bags officially start dropping in game. Pretty sure I have a mod that makes enemies drop Halloween and Christmas stuff throughout the year. Uh, which honestly, it should be like that. Kind of like it like that because some of the items are a little too exclusive and for how decent they are. But yeah, I don't know how much I like this calamity texture pack if i'm being honest uh it changes a couple things and a couple things i look at them and i'm like what in the hell is that i don't know but we got some goals today we're gonna kill the desert scourge we're gonna kill the giant clam that's the goal i believe the giant clam is a mini boss so that won't be as hard as the, the desert scourge so let's let's try and find the giant clam then you guys should let me know in the comments if you want me to keep the uh the calamity texture pack it, it's i don't know it's not that bad it, it's not that good at the same time i think everything looks a little too edgy uh some of the sprites they look great though for surely some of them look great but like at the same time this feels a little too dark even for terraria like god damn it's dark as hell in here but yeah if you know in the top notice in the top right here i have the widgets mod installed but i only have the widgets for summons and centuries showing i didn't want to use anything else from it i hear another mini boss in here so i kind of i gotta be a little careful oh there it is right there hop uh, hop hop to it boys get get on it don't let this mini boss touch me do they go up i'm pretty sure if i stand above it we're chilling i know they go down in through blocks but i don't think they go up yes sir that was an easy kill what do we got here victory shards this is used for victod hold up hold up uh, this is used for lore too uh, why would i care about lore but there you go vic tide bars okay so we're gonna need a bunch of seashells and stuff look at this this is our next armor set can't wait for this oh there's a there's another summoner armor set in here too that's pretty cool it's an upgrade from the spider set i like that but look we got the vic tide set it's pretty cheap five for a chest plate that's easy and then three for the helmet that's easy and then four for the leggings that's also easy i believe there's a summoner weapon too no apparently not okay i thought there was i swear oh actually no it drops in the desert scourge it's like a starfish summoner weapon i think but yeah let's get to it here uh some dude asked he's like did he cheat in wires how did he get wires in before getting the mechanic it's like bro you do know traps exist underground right like there's a reason why i put it right here <laughs> because there was a trap here before that set up to a spawner it's like bro these people really don't know some other people were asking like gamers why'd you throw away the starter bag you guys talk about cheating and then you want me to use something like the starter bag which is damn near cheating with how much good stuff that thing can give you right away it's like where's the early game grind we're gonna grind the whole rest of the game so why not include the early game you know there's a bunch of like uh moral compasses just like spinning around and they don't really know what to do they say one thing but then another thing they don't care about it's like bro come on i had a a lot of people on the first episode uh they were like good luck taking on the wall of flesh it's gonna be impossible it's like hello did you guys not watch my master mode summoner playthrough where i took on the wall of flesh with even less it's like bro i used what are i using that i used the imp staff and then the ballista rod <laughs> Like, I'm gonna do the same thing in this playthrough, but it's probably gonna be easier because there's probably a better summon once we get to that point. But yeah, we're here in the sunken sea. I probably should have brought a gills potion, but don't worry about it. Oh, God. Okay, be careful. Our drowning thing is over there in the bottom right, apparently. I didn't turn that off. Is this an enemy or what? 
No, it's not. Ugh, what the hell? I'm okay. I'm fine with that then. Uh, there's a baby ghost bell. We're just waiting for that dude to spawn in. That's really what's happening right here. Are these? Do these damage me? No. Maybe those replenish my uh breathing, like thorium. I don't know. This guy does hurt me though, even though I can't hurt him. This is kind of unfair. Can we mine these crystals? absolutely not don't touch me can i mine anything here absolutely not what the fuck did i come unprepared okay we got bombs at least let's try the bombs out this is our last hope okay the bombs don't work either am i supposed to kill the desert scourge first i guess i am i kind of wanted to do this first because you know it's a mini boss so why not kill the mini boss first but i'm i guess desert scourge first it is one thing i should probably do in this playthrough is get to fishing like start fishing up a couple things i don't know how many items we get from calamity uh summoner wise for fishing but we do get potions obviously summoner potions from fishing so that's something that's one thing that i need to probably get doing just so we have summoner potions stocked up uh i'm pretty sure i do have mods in here that allow me to buy potions more easily thank god all right we are here i have an arena set up i was on the search while it was nighttime to try and get more life crystals didn't sadly you hate to see it but this is our arena it's not bad now people told me to rock the double baby storm lion for this boss because of uh piercing so i guess we'll try it at the beginning of this fight but if it doesn't work out then we'll uh we'll rock double okay see this is one thing i don't like about the calamity mod is i've noticed how buggy it is with its summons sometimes okay i guess we're not rocking double storm lion we'll do belladonna and storm lion then let's get to it boom bada bing desert scourge it shouldn't be too bad i got some very strong potions so i'm hoping it's not gonna be too bad uh, I need my summon to actually be attacking though. Yes, sir. Get in there. Uh, we have this amazing grappling hook so I can legit like launch myself if I need to. And we should have just good piercing overall for this fight. Now, this boss fight hasn't been changed too much since it came out. Because I remember when it came out, he used to be red back when I played when he first came out. And then he turned blue and now he turned crusty brown. But uh, I guess, I don't know. That's just what they wanted to go with. And there you go. Just like that. Fight is over. Run it back, though. Run it back. We got a little storm this time. It's all good. Run it back. The music is bumping some more in this fight. I, I like that. Hopefully none of this music is copyrighted. Uh, we're going to take a little damage right there. A nice three. Was that a three you hit me with? I'm noticing the uh, storm line has a little trouble uh, going through platforms sometimes. Oh what happened there you guys saw like the storm disappear for a second but i uh, we'll, we'll assist the storm line here and there just spawn them straight on there because that little lightning the storm lines leaving everywhere 100 percent is helping out but there you go desert scourge complete scourge however the hell you pronounce that word easy always has been an easy boss in calamity even on the higher difficulties but yeah let's go ahead let's pop open these bags here hopefully i can tell what the hell is what because i'm still trying to get familiar with this texture pack we got the summon staff i noticed that right away quick sea bound staff yes sir we got the lucky ocean crest most ocean enemies become friendly provide water and provides water breathing that's going to be useful for the sunken sea we got the sandy angling kit and we got his mask okay i kind of want to see this mask i like that what is this right click to open okay it's just fishing stuff Ooh, wow that's that's pretty good all right everything else we need though or everything everything else we have just sell or whatever we don't need just sell uh i'll keep the lucky ocean crest actually sell lucky ocean keep that one um we don't need the baronade even though that's a great bow hey maybe in the future calamity bow only maybe we'll see uh the lore don't care about the magnum rounds don't care about bone bada bing can we make vic tide armor uh some of these chests are organized some of them aren't so let's hope that i can get everything easily here let's see this vic tide armor would definitely help us in our next fight okay i see the bars how many we need at least like 12 i think this might be it this might be it for the whole set we got the breastplate boom we got the helmet which one's the helmet this one boom and then we got the pants was i spot on i was spot on i was just guessing but there you go vic tide we get plus one minion okay so pretty much the same as this but maybe the set bonus is better let's see we get some extra minion damage we get five percent increased damage reduction and critical strike chance uh defense increase while submerging liquid that's good and we get movement speed and greatly increase speed while in liquid nice what's the set bonus so the set bonus for summoner because i think every time you wear a different helmet you get a different set bonus i think 
Don't quote me on that. Sub bonus increase life regen and minion damage while submerging liquid. Summons a sea urchin to protect you. When using any weapon, you have a 10% chance to throw a returning seashell projectile. This seashell does true damage and does not benefit from any damage class. Provides increased underwater mobility and slightly reduces breath loss in the abyss. Nice. We got a little sea urchin on top of us. And then let us see the new summon while we are at it to uh, do some of those. Okay. We should have zero out of two. Maybe I should move that. It's covering the fishing stuff. But boom, bada. Uh, bing. Okay, we can only summon one. What is this bug? Why does this always happen? But there you go. There's the starfish. All right, we are back here at the sunken sea because the giant clam should be next, and we should actually be able to break blocks here? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. Unless we need a Victide pickaxe. Let's see. Yes, we can break that. Yes, we can break that. Okay. Uh, the ghost bells. We are actually able to kill them. Please kill them. It, what is that? There's a baby clam here. Don't tell me that's the clam they're talking about. It said giant, right? Yeah, it said giant. The little baby one. We could kill the little baby one, no problem. Look at that. Let's get rid of the Hermes boots for now. Because we're going to be underwater with great movement speed. There's no reason for me to have... Hello? Do some of these enemies just not attack? Maybe they don't attack because I put this on. But it doesn't mean there's certain enemies I don't want to attack. There's a couple that I do actually want to attack. But let us find the giant clam. I would assume they would be in the middle. Ow! Okay, don't touch their backs. Yeah, I oh, did not mean to hit you. Oh, what the hell? You fly through walls and stuff. That's uh, a little unfair if I were to give my opinion on that. But uh, whatever. Just go ahead and kill it. I don't know what it dropped. Is that a sword? No. Yes, it's a shank, not a sword. Okay, if that's like a representation of how much damage the enemies are going to do down here, I'm a little scared. I can't lie. Cause that, that was a lot of damage. I wonder if bombs work down here now. Let's, let's see. Yes, thank God. All right, let's bomb down. We want to get towards the middle because look, there's something going on in the middle. And uh, obviously, if there's something going on, we've got to go check it out. That's one step closer towards the clam. Prism shards. What the hell are prism shards? Are these used for anything? Summons an electric troublemaker. A little note is attached. Thank you, Allo. Very much appreciated from Ben. Huh? I don't know who those people are. Oh, look at that. Unlimited house enabler. What are these torches? I think prism shot. Oh, they're like torches. Okay. Uh, another enemy we're looking for down here is voltaic jellyfish. Or no, not voltaic jellyfish. That's the item. Voltaic. There's no voltaic in the name. Ghost bell is the first enemy. It's the jellyfish enemy we saw when we entered. Those enemies right there. That's what we're trying to kill because they drop an accessory for us. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and vein mine this. Does this work? Ah, yes beautiful all right there's a giant clam somewhere there's a mini boss bar oh there he is okay let's go beat his ass or hopefully not get my ass beaten we'll see what happens i guess uh if he's over there can he reach me mr clam can i summon like no okay i have to come over here okay hopefully everything's recording obs crashed as soon as i saw the clam he might have more powers than i thought he did but like how do i wake him up do i take this off and then he gets angry no I don't know. Oh, okay. There you go. That did something. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to move here. So I'm going to just stand up here and hopefully that this is enough to take them down. I mean, we have some good uh, enemy or good summons to use here as in the Belladonna and <laughs> fucking Storm Lion. This seems to be working though. What a, what an intense fight. Oh, he teleports. Oh my God. Okay. I, I got to worry a, li a little bit more about him. Hey guys, you're supposed to be attacking him. All right. At least clear out the enemies near me though. So I have some room to work with. If he slams back over here, that means we switch spots and we go over here. I just figured out this boss just like that. Uh, I don't know if he gets like defense from being away from me or what. Oh, perfect. Perfect area. Look, you can see me. Stay open. No, okay, that's fine. You don't have to. Oh, he's opening up to try and summon in clams. Okay. Okay, so this isn't as uh, easy as a fight as easy as a fight as I thought it was gonna be. He moves around, which is at least something. I thought I legit was going to be able to just hide in that corner and fight him. But look at this. He's getting lower. He's moving around a lot more. I got to retarget him every time, though. It's kind of annoying. But he's very close to dying. I don't know what he got stuck on there. Poor Clam. I also don't know if he specifically drops anything for us. I know that he does spawn in an NPC, though, once we kill him. Like, an NPC may spew out of him, just like the King Slime. Or, I guess an NPC doesn't really spew out of the King Slime, but you know what I mean. There's something inside of it, and it's gonna come out as soon as we kill him. We're getting close. He's summoning some clams on me. Okay, there we go. There's the enemies right there. Or, there's the NPC, Amadeus. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. You feel an evil presence watching you. 
Okay, I know I wanted to fight a lot of bosses this episode, but not that many. Come on. Oh, me? I don't sleep. It's a part of my nature. He's just like me. So what do you got, my boy? He's got a shell shooter, snap clam, sand dollar, way washer, coral cannon, urchin flail, Amadeus trident, magical conch. This is what we want. Thank you very much. New summon weapon. Some is a hermit crab to fight for you. Nice. Let's go put this hermit crab to the test then. Uh, we're going to put it to the test by fighting you know who, aka the eyeball that's about to spawn hopefully we could take it on uh this is the bad thing about having an organized chest i don't know where all my stuff is and then let us go ahead and see this guy in action wow look at him he looks like a ground unit so he may not be the most useful for this fight all right let's get it i cthulhu boss rush episode i guess ew this thing looks disgusting bro oh my god all right honestly i don't know if the crab is the way to go i don't think the crab is really doing too much so this is what i'm gonna do instead okay we get rid of the crab we summon in we summon in the starfish the starfish may be the way to go at least the starfish will actually hit the i get through a bunch unlike the crab which will hit it every now and then but this this i cthulhu calamity edition yeah is nasty but i think i kind of like it it's probably the coolest looking thing so far in the texture pack I, I think like the sprites of the actual like bosses and stuff themselves are cool i think what's ugly is the blocks i feel like all the blocks are too dark and edgy i feel like i said this already it's just everything's so dark but this fight is no problem at all this belladonna thing is gonna carry us into like the wall of flesh i bet i don't know it depends on whatever summons we get our hands on uh, it's just so strong it shoots so many shots and it homes in and it chases people down it's too good uh we got this right here unlimited merchant killer not bad but what did we get from the treasure bag probably stuff that i already expect shield of cthulhu of course my favorite what am i gonna replace with that i don't know we'll see but yeah honestly i think we should end this episode off here three bosses in one episode like that's pretty damn good i do also have the lepus spawner but we might save lepus for the next episode uh, i think next episode we're gonna try and get our hands on some major up grades on top of fighting lepus crabulon maybe the eater all in the same episode we'll see or maybe just lepus and crabulon and then try and get some stuff we haven't seen the acid rain event yet uh it spawns after the eye cthulhu okay nice i know the acid rain is a lot more dangerous now in calamity but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed Let, let's let's do a like goal okay if we hit 2000 likes on this video i will get working on the next video asap no rocky i'll see you guys next time hey follow my twitch though because I, I i stream on there